Okay, so now that we have our cleaned MT3 and the core, we've got it we're ready to put it back together again. Then we're going to load this. The way we fill the MT3 is like we said before, it's from the bottom. So if you look inside, you can see the hole. Now, again, you want to try to make sure you don't get anything in there because that's going to go through your core directly to the battery and that will affect how the battery fires and you won't be able to vape as well. Okay, so from here, the easy way to load this is look at it from the side. You can see that tube inside. So you want to fill it, but not above the tube, because then of course it'll run right out. So this is going to be my personal mix. So we're going to take, and you see I've got the needle bottle right beside there. So I'm putting it into the reservoir, not into the center hole. So there's just some tobacco flavoring. Then I like a bit of coffee, so we're going to do a needle bottle of coffee. There we go. Now here's what some of you will have. You're going to have a little bit larger bottle. Um, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tilt it to the side and be careful to drip the vanilla flavor down the side and still not overfill it. Very close, but there you go. Then we take our core and base and put back on. Now typically whenever I put this back together there's a little bit of on the edge, a little bit of uh, juice on the edge. Just take yourself a paper towel and wipe that off and you're good to go. Then you're going to filled and clean MT3. Again it's going to have the, you'll see the difference in the flavors that you just put in. So just mix that up, let it sit and wait for about five or ten minutes and you're ready to vape on a clean filled MT3 clear miser.